Hey everybody. So recently I picked up a Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon for a job that I had to do uh, which involved printing ABS and uh, after I calculated my profits on this job uh, it was going to be able to pay for an X1C and that is the whole reason why I bought it because I've always been interested in the bamboo machines but the biggest thing that kind of kept me away from them was the fact that they are a closed system in terms of uh, you know the software not being open source the hardware not being open source and if you've watched any any of my videos you know that I like to get in and modify the firmware to uh, adjust things like skew compensation or the rotation distance on the steppers to get a really accurate 3d print um, on the X and Y and Z coordinates. So uh, if you've seen this print that I like to do in the past, uh, what I do basically is I take a 100 millimeter uh, measurement here on the X and Y, oh, I'm sorry, in the X and Y axis, and I do that for each four corners. I print these models. And in the past, when I've done this on the Ender 3s and even on the Ender 5, and I've even done it on the CR10 SE. It's always been off by maybe two millimeters uh, at any given corner. And so it, that's really bad in my opinion. So I've always had to do skew compensation to correct for that. And then I've gotten down to somewhere around 0.2 or 0.3 at best, which is acceptable for me. But... The Bamboo Labs X1, every single... Well, I have three here, but every single one that I did this test print, out of all three machines, every single measurement was within 0.15 millimeters, so 150 microns. And that kind of really surprised me. And that was one of the main reasons why I stayed away from the bamboo machines, because I felt that, well, if these, if they're anything like Creality machines, or any other manufacturer for that matter, because I've seen other issues like this on other printers. If they're anything like these other guys, then there's going to be skewed measurements and things are going to kind of be out of whack. But that's not the case at all. And I don't know if this is something that early on Bamboo had an issue with. Because I've seen forum posts, uh, message board posts about people looking for these dimensional uh, consistencies. <clears throat> and they've always complained that, hey, you know, my X and Y is not not accurate or it's not square or whatever the case may be so i just purchased these maybe within the last two months and they're they're very accurate i mean this measurement might be 99.9 millimeters and i think that's partly because uh, of the shrinkage of pla but if there was no shrinkage i'm pretty sure this would be exactly 100 millimeters on the X and Y on every single corner and the thing is that every machine its corners with were within I would say less than a that less than 0.1 millimeters or 100 microns but the crazy thing is that all three printers the max range that I saw across all three printers was 150 microns 0.15 millimeters which is pretty crazy. So that gave me a lot of confidence to buy more X1Cs. And I don't really care if I can't get into the software because if they're super accurate out of the box, I don't need to get in the software. So I just wanted to make this video because I know a lot of my, my followers care about dimensional accuracy. And I'm here to tell you that at least if you were to buy an X1C today, I bought these from Micro Center, uh, my, my local Micro Center. And I don't know if these are upgraded versions or new versions or Bamboo has worked out any kinks, but they are pretty damn accurate. And so, yeah, if you're worried about accuracy, don't worry about it. These machines do give accurate prints in the X, Y, and Z coordinates axis, and they are good to go. So... Yeah, just wanted to drop in, make this video, and kind of give somebody that's on the fence about bamboo when it comes to accuracy. 
I think you have nothing to worry about. All right, that's it, guys. Until next time, see ya.